Elephants are huge animals. They're able to surprise with their size because some of them weigh like a light tank. And some are even taller than three-story houses. Let's take a look at these giants. In this episode, I'll show you the largest elephants in the world, and I'll tell you the most interesting and unusual facts about them. Let's go! There are now three species of elephants on our planet. The African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. It used to be believed that there were only two species of modern elephants, the African bush elephant and the Asian elephant. While the African forest elephant was considered a subspecies of the African bush elephant, but later it was decided to separate the African forest elephant into a separate species. African bush elephants are the largest elephants in the world. These animals used to inhabit almost all of Africa south of the Sahara Desert, but nowadays their habitat has greatly shrunk and they now live mostly in national parks. The number of African bush elephants is decreasing, according to estimates. There are currently about 12,000 individuals of the species on Earth, due to which the species is considered endangered. The size of the African bush elephant is impressive. Its body length varies from 19.6 to 24.6 feet, and its height varies from 9.8 to 12.4 feet. The average weight of males is about 11,000 pounds, and the average weight of females is about 6,600 pounds. The African bush elephant feeds only on plant foods. Its diet consists of leaves and trees and bushes, branches, bark, roots, and various herbaceous plants. An adult animal can eat up to 660 pounds of food in a day, which is about 5% of its weight. It's believed that the heaviest elephant in the world lived in Angola in the 20th century until it fell prey to local hunters. It was shot in 1974. Measurements showed that it weighed 26,896 pounds, and its height corresponded to a three-story house, or even slightly higher. Jumbo The elephant from Angola may have been the all-time record-breaker, but it was not particularly famous. The same cannot be said of Jumbo, the most famous elephant in history. He was born on the border of today's Eritrea and Sudan at the end of 1860. A year later, he was captured and then sold to the Jardin des Plantes in Paris, where there was a small menagerie. Here, the elephant didn't live long. In 1865, he was sold to London. In London, Jumbo got his famous name and became a world star. Apparently, the English diet was to the young African's liking. He grew up to a record height of more than 10 feet and gained 14,330 pounds of weight, while the average African bush elephant then weighed only about 8,800 pounds. Jumbo's daily ration consisted of 198 pounds of hay, 154 pounds of oats, 4.4 pounds of onions, a barrel of potatoes, and 10 to 15 loaves of bread. And his caretaker, Matthew Scott, with whom the elephant became inseparable for the rest of his life, from time to time treated his pet with a keg of strong beer or a bottle of whiskey. Oh, they just love groups. <laughs> One whiff of this and she ain't thinking about corn anymore. According to Scott, such a diet was extremely beneficial to the elephant. During his 16 years of service in London, Jumbo rode on his back more than a million children. Among them were young Winston Churchill, Theodore Roosevelt, and other celebrities. Thanks to the attention of the press, which actively replicated the elephant's image, by the end of the 1870s, Jumbo's fame had become global. That all changed in 1880 when a growing jumbo began having what's known as a must, a fit of rage that occurs in elephants at the time of puberty. In early 1881, the Zoological Society of London even discussed whether to keep alive an elephant that had become dangerous to visitors. However, things worked out differently. In 1882, jumbo was bought by the American showman Phineas Taylor Barnum, owner of the legendary circus, the greatest show on earth. And the elephant, together with his keeper, Matthew Scott, went to the USA. Buying and transporting Jumbo cost Barnum a whopping $30,000 at the time, but it was worth it. He made an astronomical $1.7 million on the elephant in the first year. The tour lasted a little over two years, until one day Jumbo was hit by a train. However, this didn't stop the circus owner, as he still continued to earn money from the elephant now demonstrating his stuffed animal to the public. Jumbo was an incredibly large and famous elephant, 
but he was not the only one to boast of impressive size and fame. Stay tuned to see more famous huge elephants, each with their own unique story. Black Diamond At one time, the elephant named Black Diamond weighed 19,840 pounds, was considered the largest Indian elephant in captivity. His fate, however, ended rather sadly. When the Al G. Barnes Circus marched through the streets of Corsicana, Texas in 1929, all eyes were on this elephant. His trainer, Pritchett, led the parade, but the crowds didn't know that the elephant had previously maimed three people. Black Diamond was a very spectacular animal because of his huge size, so he was allowed to participate in the parade, but he was well entangled and tied between two female elephants. His tusks were filed down and a heavy iron bar was tied to his chest. During the parade, Black Diamond again decided to attack the people. He tossed Pritchett into the air and threw the other trainer to the ground. He then proceeded to massacre the circus hostess, Eva Speed Donahoe. One witness recalled, people were screaming and shattering. Some of the parade participants were on horses or in wagons. The horses rushed forward and chaos was everywhere. The last thing I saw was Pritchett going up in the air and then an elephant headed toward a woman. We ran away. Eventually, Black Diamond was sentenced to capital punishment. A group of riflemen was assembled and fired some 170 bullets until the elephant hit the ground. Tuffy On July 21, 1950, the circus director Franz Atzhoff decided to hold an unprecedented publicity event. In front of tourists and a group of reporters, he wanted to ride a young circus elephant, the largest animal in the city at the time, in the carriage of the monorail in Wuppertal, Germany. The elephant weighed up to 8,800 pounds, which was supposed to convince the public of the reliability and safety of the upgraded public transport line. Everything went good. The elephant behaved in the carriage no worse than a well-mannered dog, but only until the first flashes of the cameras. They so scared the circus animal that the elephant jumped out of the car right on the move. The height wasn't high and the animal landed well, or rather splashed down in the shallow whopper. Anyway, it was all over with a minor scare and lots of articles in the press. The elephant got a few abrasions and a cult status for decades. Many European newspapers wrote about the incredible event, after which the elephant got her name, Tuffy, which means jumping into the water in Italian. Tuffy has also become a major symbol of the city with the famous graffiti of the falling female elephant near the scene of the accident for many years. Tuffy herself continued to perform at the Althoff Circus until 1968 when she was sold to a small French circus. Shango Shango the elephant was born in 1911, presumably on the Hindustan Peninsula, and in 1933 she was brought to the USSR and traveled around the country for several years as part of a traveling pet exhibition. They wrote on the posters of him as follows, Shango is a giant elephant. He is 14.7 feet tall and weighed about 12,125 pounds. The unusually large size of the elephant not only attracted the public, providing good money, but also created big problems. In his youth, Shango was trainable, but as he grew older, his character became increasingly restless and vicious. The huge elephant became dangerous, and in August of 1940, Shango was transferred to Moscow, where two years earlier, a spacious and fortified elephant enclosure had been built. From the first day, other elephants in the zoo recognized Shango as their leader and obeyed him. The elephants would only leave the room together with Shango always in the lead. The zoo employees also told that it was almost impossible to lure elephants out of the elephant enclosure without Shango. He would drive them back into the elephant enclosure in the evening, pushing them with his head from behind. On average, Shango's daily feeding diet was 308 pounds of various feed. There's a story associated with Shango for which he was nicknamed the Brave One. During World War II, all the elephants except Shango and his girlfriend Jin Dao were evacuated from the Moscow Zoo. By that time, the elephant had grown so big that it didn't fit into a railway carriage anymore. When he got an incendiary bomb in his enclosure, he extinguished it. Oh, you brave, brave soul. Apparently, his instincts identified the bomb with a snake. The bomb hissed, spreading fire, and clever Shango covered it with sand and then extinguished it with water. The elephant passed away in 1961, having lived 50 years, 20 of which he lived at the Moscow Zoo. Yossi 
Today, the largest elephant in the world lives in the zoological center Tel Aviv Ramat Gan in Israel. He's reached a very venerable age. He's 47 years old. The giant was born on August 11, 1974. Besides the record of size, Yossi had as many as 19 offspring, which also makes him the record breaker in Europe in terms of fertility. Yossi is the tallest elephant ever to live in captivity. He's now 12.4 feet tall. It's been speculated that the reasons for his growth lie in his genes, but food is an important factor. The animal now weighs 15,432 pounds. That's all, guys. Have you seen elephants in person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.